guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 28 and 29 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5, so let's go ahead and get started with episode 28 in 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm? Oh, like, okay. I don't know about that. I don't even feel like it's 2 in the morning and I'm wondering how the hell I'm still up and I'm gonna be up for the next like 2 hours I am sorry oh god if I yawn I'm sorry cause I know in about like an hour it's gonna be 3 and I'm gonna start getting sleepy and this is the worst time that I literally have said yeah let me go ahead and record this <sighs> never again never again will I do this but hopefully like all four of these episodes that I watch go by quick but no matter what I'm about to stay up Maybe you should call in someone new. I'm just saying, because, you know, hmm, that normally helps. Hmm? I mean, ain't he still stuck on the island that they were just on last week? have to wait and see, don't we? That's pretty.
Aquarius. <laughs> I'm like, I am so hungry. <laughs> Of course, these two be ready to eat. That's their favorite subject. <laughs> Just tells you Comanche has the best taste in like everything. Just how like Hinata had like the best taste in fashion. What if that melts, though? I mean, oh god, is he gonna, um, eat the ice? He is, isn't he? Sir, do you know what happens if you eat too much ice? That's not good. You're going to fuck up your teeth. Of course it's not. It's ice, you idiot. <laughs> not only is it not filling, you're going to fuck up your teeth. You're going to end up going to the bathroom a lot. And you're going to have, have problems on your body. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, because what else can you do? Mm. Maybe, but...
established your friendship. It's so cute. Yeah, because imagine if that didn't happen, you two wouldn't have became the best friends that you guys are now. That's so cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my god. I know, right? No, no. Way too sugary. The mandarin oranges. Once again, the two of you thinking what they tell me. <laughs> What the heck? I think I just got rid of Ow, that hurt. I don't even know what the heck that was. <laughs> oh, and you're going to run into him like that. You don't want that mask. <laughs> You know, if you just had a steady paying job, you would be fine. <laughs> sure.
Really? The the mass? I mean Okay. Oh, that looks um I <laughs> Whoa God, thank God I was in middle school with this season, but like I can't imagine if this came out like while I was in elementary school, I probably would have had nightmares. They're gonna be yeah. Well, you know, that's your own damn fault. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you ate the freaking ice. <laughs> Yeah, and you, out of all, out of the, all the things that you could have done, you ate some ice. But it's still important. And see, of course, like, hers will come up because a girlfriend, and it's so cute, it's like, oh my god, that was adorable. Oh, kind. Oh, that looks so good. Different, but good. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I knew that was going to happen. 2.30 in the morning and I'm already on him. Oh. Huh? <laughs> These are cute. Oh my god, my baby. friendship ever even though like it, it's a friendship slash you know they're girlfriends they're girlfriends come on now like you, it, it's obvi very very obvi but even though like uh komachi is like me and we both crutched on nuts <laughs> we only crushed nuts as, uh, nuts because of sore from kingdom hearts <laughs> Like, the fact is, 
that from the previous episode, not the previous episode, what the heck am I talking about? From the previous moment of these two together, having a, a situation and that Komachi was the one who solved it and then it reversed with this was adorable. I mean, I'm happy that it got you got to see it and it got to happen because of the fact is, as a quote-unquote couple, it's like when one struggles, the other one is there to help the other one and pick them up and everything. So that's kind of really what it was. When Karin was struggling over the situation, Komachi was the one who helped her to find a different venue and do this, this, that, and the third. And then when it was Komachi's turn to struggle, it was Cotton's turn to step up, not only as a friend, but as a quote-unquote partner and such. But it was cute. I mean, everybody honestly really stepped up in this episode. And I'm proud of them because as friends, you're supposed to do that. When times get tough, your friends are there to help you and to step up. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be hilarious. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we will need another episode of this. I, I This is something that I probably would have wished that we got for, like, Go Princess or any any type of series where, you know, it, it, for Pretty Cure in general, where one of the other characters is, like, an idol, actress, whatever, and someone else has to manage them. <laughs> to see but like yeah for for this episode um not really establishing but continuing the relationship of Kana and Komaji is really sweet and it, it's just it's cute and it's adorable and it's just like oh my god look at these two why haven't they yet and I love it even though like I I ship Komaji with <laughs> freaking nuts because they're just so cute and nuts is very like understanding of Komachi but at the same time like Cotton and Komachi are very very understanding for each other and they've been there for each other ever since this first moment had happened and established into this well mm, established slash blossomed into this beautiful relationship of what it is now to the point that they can always be there to talk to each other despite you know also having like three kids <laughs> but yeah <laughs> It's just really cute and adorable. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 29. Okay, episode 29 in 3, 2, 1, go. What's up? <laughs> yeah, it might be fun. should be fine. <laughs> of course we're making it a group trip. <laughs> No, honey. Do you really think you can get it done in a day? I'm well, you know what? No. 
let me say that. Let me let me change my sense. Now, if it was cutting Komachi, whatever himself, or even Rin, they can get that ish done in a day. But know what I mean? The person who probably will do her homework the last week of summer vacation. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Because knowing her, like, okay, let, let's talk about every pink cure in the freaking series. And, you know, we got to put Manatsu in that figure too because Manatsu probably does it as well. Every pink cure of the series <laughs> does their homework. Though, what well, no. Yeah, <laughs> the last week <laughs> of summer vacation. Maybe there are some pink cures who are like, no, 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 no. We're going to do our homework this week so that we have the whole entire summer to get it done. But, <laughs> Nozomi, <laughs> Nozomi is number one, <laughs> number one at being like, yeah, I'm going to wait and push that off. Like, mm, you know, like, I thought I was bad at pushing things off, but. This girl. Well, I mean, because no offense to him, you are below him, so, and also beneath him. So he is going to treat you like a bug. I mean, just saying. Excuse me. Sorry once again. Oh my god. It's, it's coming. <laughs> it's not even 3 a.m. yet. Uh. Well, you three go ahead because you know those means gonna be busy. <laughs> they just look like two guys going on a date. I'm like, thank you. So,
This is gonna get worse for nose mean. Then what else do you wanna do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, in the end, you're probably going to have to call the other two as well, so let's not be surprised. <laughs> but you did good. Somebody had to plan it. He just left, so knows me and just stepping in. What's wrong? Mm. Of course. Call Kamachi. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, it's okay. You're going to be bothering Rin soon, too. <laughs> You. I guess time to call her in. <laughs> uh huh. Truly does. Hmm? Well, in a way, you you have a really good you know topic. You just don't know what it is, even though we the audience do. You'll just have to make up like once you, you know, because your pretty hairness is coming soon. So, you know, definitely got to make something up about that. <laughs> so handsome oh my god I love the fact that everybody is gonna be in a commercial together oh 
because you're going to be in the commercial. As well. Look at Connor. She looks so beautiful. Oh my god, I can be like Princess Kaguya vibes. Like, I love it so much. Complicated. <laughs> All the Roroni Kenshin vibes I'm getting this. Oh my god, girl. Girl! <laughs> oh. Oh my god, that was amazing. Like, those of you that's getting way too into this role as a manager for a day, and honestly, I love it. <laughs> uh, she's going to get a really good A on that paper. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> <sighs> <sighs> 
excuse me. Oh my god. Mmm. Uh, I'm almost done. I just gotta do one more hour and then after that, edit. I try to edit both of these by the night before I go to sleep. Go to sleep, wake up, get my other stuff done. Be done with the day. We got this. Now, see, this just went from, like, <laughs> a very traditional commercial to traditional, a little bit modern commercial. <laughs> It'll be good, though. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, like I said, I think you know Nozamine has her issue today. So she'll be able to do her stuff. I, I know, please, because she's still got to do ish. <laughs> that was your topic, knows what I mean? You were so busy. That is one crazy looking schedule. Yeah, bam. Knows me. That's what you can write on. That's your topic. Well, what's important to Hurada is going to also be important to you. That's your project. It's perfect. Yeah. You just got to put it into words. <laughs> Yeah.
Can I just say this episode went by really fast? Like, damn. I, I mean, it's it just, I think, after watching 28 and then going into 29, like, especially, like, knowing where the beginning, middle, and end was going to happen so quickly, but, like, really, <laughs> this went by fast. I mean, I think, what, one of the episodes from a couple of weeks ago that I was watching went by really fast. I was like, dang, we're done with this already? And, and that's what happens when you're so busy watching anime and time goes by, like, so freaking quickly but i am glad that nose was able to do this this was really nice for her i really almost like when animes do episodes on the entertainment industry and especially like someone who wants to get into it and to show someone else like the ins and outs especially if they're doing it for like a report project or something it's different so i really love it when animes get to do that because you get to see an inside job on it from an anime's perspective almost like with um <sighs> comic girls or comic party or buckman and a whole bunch of others that do stuff on like whether it's manga um voice acting uh, trying to be you know journalist something like that seeing the ins and outs of things that you don't always get to see normally you just get to see the glitz and the ga the glamour but you don't get to see you know behind the scenes of the glitz and glamour the making of it basically huh. and besides you know Baby is just jealous because, you know, she wants to be one as well. Because once again, yes, milk can be a little, you know, <laughs> a little boop, but at the same time, we do love her. Yes, once again, she gives me a lot of to be use of eyes because, I mean, honestly, with milk and, um, knows, I mean, they do fight like Usaki and <laughs> So, like, it's nobody's business. Oh, God. But you just know, it, it's just secretly that Milky really, truly does care for Nozomi no matter what. And even though we are seeing, like, the little bits of the relationship now, like, by the time we get into um, Go Go, we're going to see more and more of, like, Milk somewhat, like, not idolizing her but like still looking up to her because of the fact is right now she's looking at her looking at those being like you you see you, you the leader girl no like mm -mm. you good but you ain't the best <laughs> like sit on the sidelines like no you ain't that good you think you that good and all right but you're not in certain name character right here, right? You know, this is that third. Almost how, like, every single time when um, Chibiusa would say, well, you know, she's not my mommy. And you'd be like, Chibiusa, but that is your mom, Connie. Like, oh my god. Except it's just Usagi when she's much older, much more mature and such, and when she's learned the lessons. And it's like, and this is that and the third. But honestly, having, like, a day as Nozui being, um, Urarish, uh, I can't speak, because I'm sleepy, <laughs> manager was very interesting and just fun and I would love to see more of that especially you know once we get into like really we're past the second half the rest of this show because we have officially now 20 episodes left before we're done with go with pretty Cure five before we start go go and just everything that's gonna happen it's just gonna get good and better maybe a little bit of worse at times especially because we're gonna get closer and closer to the where the girls are going to lose and of course it's gonna be like the worst parts because you know i i don't like it when the pretty Cure loses because it's it just oh god but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 28 and 29 of the yes, Pretty Cure 5. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 30 and 31. Bye, guys.